Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 vlog. Okay, in this week's video, I'm going to be giving everybody what I think is an exciting update with regards to Cytokinetics Pharmaceuticals. You know, we looked at Cytokinetics a couple of weeks ago, and we looked at their Phase 2 clinical trial, known as PK2127107. Well, about two or three days ago, out of the blue, one of the doctors from Cytokinetics called me, and this doctor is actively involved within this particular clinical trial. So it was exciting to be able to speak to somebody that actually knew what they were talking about. So I asked the doctor, I said, can you share any information with me over this phase two clinical trial because it was scheduled to end at the end of February of this year. The doctor told me that even though it was scheduled to end in February, it's probably still considered an ongoing trial just because they still have one or two patients that are finishing their dosing. So until they can finish their dosing, it's still considered in trial phase. But probably by the end of this month, which is March, they'll be able to start collecting some of the data and they'll be able to determine whether or not uh, they're gonna call this a, a success or a failure. But, you know, I could kind of tell by the doctor's voice, they seem to be pretty optimistic and enthusiastic about it. So I'm thinking that they're gonna get some really good results out of it. So the next step, if they do get the results that they want, then they'll move into what they call a phase three pivotal trial. Now, I'm not sure if this is correct or not, but this is what I gathered from the doctor, is that any trial that goes into a phase three status is considered a pivotal trial because this is gonna be the last trial they have before they can present this data to the FDA for either final approval or denial. And if it gets approved, then it will be known as a treatment, similar to what Spinraza is to Biogen. So anyway, they should be starting this phase three pivotal trial probably the second or third quarter of this year. So it's just really right around the corner. Now, one of the things that I asked the doctor, I said, how does this PK2127107 work? He told me, he said, well, it's now known as reldesimative, and I'm spelling it on your screen. And I say it slowly because if I try to say it fast, I butcher the name. But PK2127107 is now known as reldesimative. And what this drug does, or how it works, is that unlike Spinraza, which works at the cellular level, reldesimative works at a muscular level. Okay, the way that they explained it is that this drug will help the muscle contract. And as the muscle contracts, the nerve endings are exposed and they're absorbed or they're, they have access to this protein that our body needs to either build or sustain muscle. So their treatment, once it becomes a treatment, will work on the muscular level, while Biogen Spinraza works on the cellular level by trying to get the SMN2 gene to produce more of a protein. And one of the things that this doctor told me, he said that if this does go through a pivotal trial, that those of us that are on the Biogen treatment will also be eligible to at least try to enroll in this pivotal trial. Even though we're on an active treatment, we can still go through this pivotal trial. And I think one of the exciting things about it is that reldesimative works at the muscular level, Spinraza works at the cellular level. This might actually be something that can work for us. But really what you need to do is to speak to your doctor to find out if they know anything about reldesimative or cytokinetics pharmaceuticals. If you talk to your doctor, the one that's involved in your treatment, they probably will know something about it. So ask them, when this does go to a phase three clinical trial, is this going to work for me? Now, there are a lot of inclusion and exclusion criteria that's gonna be involved. And uh, to be honest with you, some of us may not even qualify for that clinical trial, but some of us may. So talk to your doctor to find out this information. But I think that that was really good information that the doctor shared with me. And it really gives me a lot of hope because if we can get one treatment to work on the muscular level, and one treatment to work on the cellular level, then we've got our bases covered. Plus, another exciting thing is that cytokinetic pharmaceuticals treatment, if it, again, if it goes to treatment, known as reldesimative, is an oral medication. And by what they're saying is, you're only gonna have to take it once. Now, they may increase this over time as they see if it's needed, but right now it's just a single dose and it's an oral dose, so we take it by mouth. So there's no shots involved. 
So anyway, speak to your doctor to find out if this possible phase three pivotal trial may be right for you. I know I'm gonna to speak to my doctor. Okay, and I did a real quick video over my website where I showed you some of the information that we just spoke about. So I'm gonna take you out there and let you watch that video. It's about two minutes long, and then I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. If you go to my website, click on the drop down option label more and select helpful links. Once in the helpful links page, scan down about a quarter of the way and you'll see an option labeled clinical trials website. Click on the blue link to be taken directly to the clinicaltrials.gov website. In the area in the middle labeled find a study, you'll see all of the search criteria that they give you so that you can locate any and all of the clinical trials that we've been discussing. In the search criteria box labeled other terms, put your cursor in there and try typing in this trial's new name that we now know as Reldesimtiv. I tried it a few days ago and I even tried it this morning, but at this time they have yet to update the clinicaltrials.gov website with the trial's new name. The only way that you're going to be able to find it is to type in its old name. So again, with your cursor in the search criteria box labeled other terms, type in capital C capital K dash 212 Now you're watching this video on Sunday, so it may have already updated, so continue trying to find it under its new name. Another way to locate it is to go back to my website at the top and click on the drop down option labeled pharmaceutical companies in selecting cytokinetics info. If you go down to the bottom where I discuss the clinical trial, you'll see a blue link. And if you click on it, it'll take you back to the clinical trials website where they post this clinical trial. As you can see, it was last updated on February 19th of this year. So it's been a little over a month since any updates have occurred. And you can also tell because this study is still labeled under its old name. But once they update the study with the new name, CK2127107 will be replaced with its new name, Reldesimtiv. Okay, so I'm hoping that everybody enjoys the videos that I produce, but more importantly, I'm hoping that the information that I'm giving you is useful to you as well. If it is, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, when you subscribe to my channel, make sure that you click on the little bell icon to be notified of any new videos. I hope everybody's had a wonderful week. God bless you, and until next Sunday, bye-bye.